are you getting bored with the current UI and looks of your Android and want to try something new to customize your device, which will probably give you an entirely different Android experience? Then buddy, you are watching the right video. This is your host Samir and welcome to the second episode of The Power of 4. In this video, I'll be showing you 4 simple ways to customize the entire look and feel of your Android by using 4 cool apps. So without any further ado, let's get started. First, Yindex Launcher. There are lots of choices available out there, but have you found your perfect Android launcher yet? If not, then I am going to tell you about a launcher called Yandex. Running Yandex for the first time will be a happy experience. The interface is one of the cleanest I have ever seen, yet not so minimalistic that you lose out on details and variety. The main attraction of this launcher is the app drawer, which approaches an entirely different design. The apps are divided into different categories like games, communications, tools, productivity, etc., which I haven't seen in any other launcher. Talking about some of its features, like by just swiping down, you can access the Google search bar. It also has its own wallpaper collection, and you can also change icon packs and transition effects, and lots more. Second, Droop. If you are not familiar with Droop yet, then you are surely missing a great app. It's like a one-stop shop for all your messaging and communication needs. Just click on a contact and you'll be able to reach them from any platform whether it is SMS, Facebook Messenger, Twitter, WhatsApp, etc. And it is always floating on your home screen, which makes it easier to access and it can be moved anywhere around the screen. Droop also has its own dialer, which you can use like the default Android dialer and with the latest update, it become more smooth and beautiful. Third, Snowball. Notifications are handy, but you probably spend more time swiping them away than actually using them. That's a problem and Snowball aims to fix it. Think of it like a priority inbox for your notifications. Instead of getting alert to every little things that triggers random apps you have installed, Snowballs allow you to pick what really matters to you. Basically, Snowballs give you the choice to choose between most important and less important notifications. You can also teach Snowball that what you want to see and what you want to hide. By just swiping the notification left, you can choose to hide it or not. And by swiping it right, you can prioritize. You can also access some useful quick toggles by just swiping the notification panel twice. Fourth, Next Lock Screen. At last, we have Next Lock Screen, which was developed by Microsoft. The design of Next Lock Screen is elegant but yet so useful. Talking about some of its feature like when we swipe up you will get all the recent app and quick toggle menu. And you can also change lots of different lock screen wallpapers by just one click which is really cool feature. But my favorite feature of Next Lock Screen is the multiple lock screen setup. Essentially Next is set into three categories at home, at work and neither. Each of these three tabs can be set up with their own unique image as well as their own setup of app shortcuts. And if you want to know more about these apps, you can just log on to xiaomininja.com by just clicking the above link. So guys that's all for today. If you like this video then do hit the like button and for more future updates subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in my next video so stay tuned.